She said, Calvin, you know what the engineer does? I said, no, but it sounds real good. <laughs> she said, but well, look, Calvin, you're going to be an engineer. You have to go take this test. I said, what test? She said, the SAT. Now, big, I was ignorant. And only bent out of shape when people call you ignorant. See, I grew up in a house with no books, so I was ignorant. Ignorant means you just don't know. Stupid means there's no hope for you. <laughs> too, many of us, too many of us acting stupid. I was just ignorant. <laughs> I was so ignorant when she told me go take the SAT. I thought SAT meant Saturday. <laughs> and then I knew it meant Saturday because she told me the test was on Saturday. <laughs> So I took my little girlfriend on Friday to pour out team. After the game, we went to a little dance where I got my boogie on, my broke on. I took her home and I got up on Saturday morning to go take my Saturday test. <laughs> and when I got there, all the kids, like uh, Big is going to celebrate, who are going to be told what they need to do to be successful, came to the gym and they were all nervous and they were biting my nails. I put my head on the table. They had to wake me up. This young man, wake up. And I woke up and they gave me that test. And I looked at that test, Beverly. And I didn't know that word, it's the that word, it's the that word. I didn't know any of those words. So you know what we do when we don't know what we're supposed to know. I start going A, B, C, D, D, C, B, A, A, B, C, D. <laughs> I said, whoa, I better change this thing up. B, C, B, C, A, D, A, D. <laughs> yeah, that's how many of y'all got to college too, I know. I know. <laughs> I was the first one finished. I looked around like a bunch of dummies and put my head down. 